Welcome to 11, almost a 10, 11 11.2. And we are looking at areas of circles and sectors. You will remember that we just did 11.1, which was circumference and arc length. Or you might say the distance around a circle and the distance of just a portion of that circle. <clears throat> and now we are looking at areas of the entire circle and areas of a portion of that circle. So let's make sure that we understand these uh, formulas for circumference. You remember it was 2 pi r, 2 times uh, pi times the radius or uh, pi times the diameter. So that's circumference. But now for area of a circle, it's pi r squared, pi r squared. So for this area stuff, <clears throat> remember area is uh, the space inside. Area is the space inside of some type of boundaries here. So let's remind ourselves just back with a simple uh, rectangle. Area equals base times height. You could say length times width if you wanted to, but these days they're using ba base times height. So here's my uh, rectangle. If I wanted the space inside of this rectangle, if my base was five feet and my height was two feet, then I would multiply five feet times two feet 5 times 2 is 10, and feet times feet is feet squared. So area will always have the units of a length squared, whereas circumference is uh, has the units of just a length by itself. Remember, either like uh, in this case feet or, or inches that we did back in 11.1. .1. So hopefully, remembering that area <clears throat> is going to be uh, a length times a length, which will give us a squared length, square. So when you see area, you should think square, and that will help you to remember that the equation for the area of a circle is pi r squared. You want that length squared there. Okay, so <clears throat> we are looking at the areas, like I said, of a circle. But we also want to do the area of a sector, the area of a sector. When we were talking about circumference, uh, we were looking at a arc length. This is the part of a circle, the uh, length, uh, le the length of part of a circle. Whereas uh, here, <clears throat> with uh, a with area, this part of the circle, we're going to call that a sector, a sector. And tell you what, before I jump into that, let me back up <clears throat> and look at an example here of just plain old area in a circle. <clears throat> so we want to find the area of this here uh, dial, and they're telling us that the radius of this dial is 2.5 centimeters. So going from the center out to the circle, that length here is going to be 2.5 centimeters. And so I use my equation, area equals pi r squared. Now remember, for circumference, it was 2 pi r or pi times diameter. So sometimes they're going to give you the diameter. So in this case, the diameter would be 5, right? Diameter equals 5 centimeters. So if they gave us the uh, diameter, uh, the only formula that we have for area is pi r squared, and we would have to convert this diameter into the radius. So, of course, we would divide the diameter by 2 in order to find the radius, and then we'd plug the radius into our equation uh, that we have here. And once you do that, then it's a piece of cake, and you could either, le either leave the answer in terms of pi, so 6.25 pi is the area of this uh, circle. Or you could hit the pi button on your calculator and then round, you will, you will need to round it. And typically we are rounding it to the nearest hundred. 
And in this case, you have approximately. So remember, that's really important that because we're rounding it, it's not an equal sign. It's approximately. In this particular case, it's 19.63. Sometimes, though, what they're going to do is give you the area. So in this case, <clears throat> they have a CD, and they're telling me that the area of that CD is 113.1 centimeters squared. So again, area, you're looking for a length squared. And they want us to go backwards and find the radius. So we start with the same equation, area equals pi r squared, and then plug in what I know. So I know that the area is 113.1, and I want to find the radius. So what I do is I divide both sides by pi, divide by pi, and then uh, in order to get rid of the square, the uh, inverse function of squaring is the square root. So I take the square root of both sides, and if you plug that into your calculator, the square root of 113.1 uh, divided by pi. Be careful how you put that in the square, the uh, uh, your calculator. We'll talk about that in class. But then and if you were around it, you would get that the radius is approximately 6. And then from there, you could find the diameter by multiplying that radius by 2. Okay, so we are ready now to talk about sectors. And <clears throat> like we said, a sector is a, a part of a circle, a region bounded by two radii. Here are the two radii. Uh, and their intercepted arc. Here come the radii, they're intercepting this part of the circle, so this is their intercepted arc. So this uh, space uh, bounded by these two radii and this arc is called a sector. Now, to make things a little bit simpler for us, uh, we can use this notation where area with a subscript of a uh, circle means area of a circle, and then here is what I'm inventing. <laughs> it's not really my invention, but we'll use this protocol in, uh, in our class. Is uh, This is the symbol for a sector. I'm kind of taking this symbol here. So that's not a triangle. That's a, a little angle there. And then I'm trying to draw an arc, but it's really small, so it's hard to see. But that will help rather than writing out area of sector. It's easier just to write uh, this here. So the uh, area of the sector is what we want to find. And how do we find that? Well, it's using the same kind of basic principle that we used when we were finding the length of an arc. And remember that the length of the arc over the entire you know, part over whole, the length of the arc over the whole circumference equals the measure of this central angle over 360, which is the measure of the entire circle. So same principle here, that the area of this sector, this orange sector here, over the area of the circle, the entire circle, equals, uh, the, this, this ratio is the same as the ratio of the measure of this central angle, over the measure of the entire circle, which is 360 degrees. So this proportion is true. And then if we want to solve for just the area of the sector, we would multiply both sides by the area of the circle, and that would cancel out on the left-hand side, and we would get this times the area of the circle. So think of this, um, the, the measure of the angle over 360, Think of that as the fraction of the whole circle. So when you want the area of the sector, you don't want the entire circle. You only want this portion, this part, this fraction of the entire circle. So let's do a few problems like that from the textbook. Here we go. And they want us to find the measure or the area of this sector uh, up here. And they give us that the central angle is 70 degrees, and they also give us the radius is 8. So here is our, our formula. 
we're taking on the right hand side here the area of the sector equals the fraction of the whole the fraction of the whole so here's our fraction and the measure of the central angle is 70 degrees and the whole that's the area of the circle it's pi r squared and they give us the radius already of 8 so we just plug that in and be careful when you plug that in your calculator and once you round it you get approximately 39.10 but now they ask us for the area of the rest of the circle one thing you could do is find the area of the circle and then the entire circle and then subtract the area that you just found of this sector and of course that would give you the remaining part of the circle the remaining uh, area of the circle another way to do it though <clears throat> is to use the same exact kind of formula that we did before except your central angle is not 70 degrees so it's not the 70 degrees here but it's the central angle of the remaining part of the circle so that would be 360 minus 70 so 360 minus 70 gives you 290 degrees so the part of the circle that you want the area is uh, just 290 over 360 and then use the same area of the entire circle and that would be your your area there let's also hop over and oh no actually you are ready now you are ready for um, these problems these three problems on your uh, in your uh, notes here so they want the area of and that's the symbol for circle there of course so the area of circle D so you want the entire area so you're going to use your formula pi r squared and your radius is 14 that you, they give to you there and then they ask you for the area of the sector on the left hand side so what I'm talking about is this over here on the left hand side so the measure of the central angle is going to be 120 degrees so you want 120 over 360 times the the entire area of that circle and then here with number three they're asking for the area of the sector on the right side so let me underline those by right side what I mean is is over here so what is the measure of this central angle here well it's going to be 360 minus 120 so whatever that number is put that number over 360 and that's the fraction is what actually over here the fraction of the whole uh, that you want to find uh, to use or to find for the the right side the area of this right side sector so go ahead and pause the video and do those three problems and then let's look at two more examples here from the textbook where they're getting kind of sneaky on us here what they're telling us now is they're telling us that the they're giving us uh, yes I have a circle I have the central angle I don't know what the radius is but they do give me the area of the sector that's what this means here when they give the area right next to the sector that's referring to the area only of the sector and they want us to find the uh, area of this entire uh, circle and so the way we do that use that same formula that we had used before the area of the sector equals the fraction of the whole and so the fraction is 40 that's your central angle over 360 and they also gave you the as we said the area of the sector is 35 and now we need to solve for the area of the circle what I would do is just abbreviate that as area of circle and the way you do that is multiply both sides by 360 over 40 so multiply by the reciprocal of this 360 over 40 multiply both sides by 360 over 40 so what I'm doing here the reason I do that is because I want to cancel this out so 360 divided by 360 these guys will cancel out 40 divided by 40 this will cancel out and I'm left with only the area of the circle so the area of the circle equals uh, and if you were to plug that in your calculator you would get I guess exactly uh, 315 
So that's how to go back to the area of a sector. You also need to know how to find areas of odd shapes or irregular shapes is another way of, of saying it. So if you wanted to know the area in the green here because you wanted to paint around this door, then what you do is measure this uh, entire uh, base and height of this rectangle and then <clears throat> uh, measure the uh, the length the width here of your door and also the height of your door and from that you could determine what the area of this half circle is because uh, pretend that it's a whole circle and your diameter is going to be 16 so your uh, radius is going to be 8 so you could find the area of the whole circle and then divide that by 2 that would give you this top area and then you could find the area of this rectangle by doing 16 this is the, the height here times 16 and so what, we, what you would do is be subtracting this half of the circle and this rectangle from this larger rectangle to find the area of just the outside green here that you want to uh, paint. So you're going to use that same principle when you do question number five here. But uh, let me back up and walk you through question four first. Question four, they are giving you the area just of this sector. Let me focus this. The area just of this uh, sector here is 214.37. They give you the central angle of 85 degrees. And they're asking for the area of the entire circle. So we're using this equation here, the area of the sector equals the fraction of the whole. So the area of the, the sector, did I say sector? I'm not sure. The area of the sector uh, equals the fraction of the whole circle. So the fraction is 85, that's your central angle, over 360. And the area of the entire circle is what you want to find. They do give you the area of the sector, so you plug in uh, this number, 214.37, in for the area of the sector. And remember, you get rid of this uh, fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal. So multiply both sides. Once you plug in this, multiply both, num both sides by 360 over 85, and that'll give you uh, then the area. Uh, this on the right-hand side, this will cancel out, and that'll give you the area of the circle. Now let's talk about this uh, areas of irregular shapes. As you can see, this is a weird looking shape, but I can break it down into two separate shapes that are reasonable. Hey, this is a half of a circle. So this area on the left hand side is one half the area of a circle whose diameter is seven. And then on the right hand side, this of course is a triangle and it's a right triangle. So these two lengths are my base and my height and you will remember that the area of a triangle, the equation for that is one half base times height. So there is your equation that you're kind of putting together. It's not this equation you have to memorize, but just it makes sense, doesn't it? You want half of the circle. So pi r squared is the circle, so you want half of that. And then you want this entire uh, triangle, which is one half base times height. And you put those two things together. Let me put parentheses around that just so you, again, it's clear. You want half of the circle and you want the entire uh, triangle. So plug in the numbers that you have there uh, for that. And that'll give you the, when you add those together, that'll give you the area of this, this irregular shape. There you go. I hope that was helpful to you. And I look forward to seeing you in class. And may the Lord bless you.